What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Bourbon Buzz and Ballin' Podcast, and it's time to rate that shit. We're here at Colby's Bar, and we are going down that rabbit hole once again. Once again, yeah. We, we started last week with the Cave Hill, which is just their small batch Kentucky straight bourbon. This week, we're going to do their high rye, uh, So it's and it's called the high gold. Yeah, so, a little rye. I remember yeah, you little, said that. A little bit of rye. So... Uh, why don't you give everybody our rating system, and then I'll tell a little bit more about, about this, this bottle of bourbon. Well, it should come up behind us at some point if you're <laughs> watching. Um, we rate every, uh, not everything, we rate our bourbons one through four. One uh, is a brown bag. You know, we don't, we don't give out too many brown bags, but honestly, there's been some pretty shitty bourbons out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, number we two. We talked about one earlier. Yeah, <laughs> Double true. Oak Woodford. Double Oak Woodford. Was a, was a one for us. Um, number two for us is a mixer. Um, now that might be just your standard everyday drinker that you like to put in your favorite mixed drink. So um, don't judge our rating system based on how you're gonna purchase your bourbons. But number three for us is on the rocks, might be high in proof. Um, you might wanna just dilute it a little bit. And last but not least, the tried and true, the way we like to drink our bourbon the way we think all bourbon ought to be be sipped on, and that's neat. That's right. That's the best way to really get all the aromas and the, the, the flavored right. notes and everything of the bourbon is drink it right straight that's out right. the bottle. Get a Glen Karen glass and just enjoy it. Yeah, we like to give every bourbon a fair shot, and the only way to really give it a fair shot is to drink it neat. And again, you know, one thing to keep in mind with our rating system is, is, you know, our main purpose here is to possibly save you some money. Um, you know, when we rate something, you know, we're doing our best to maybe save you from going out and buying it yourself. Now, keep in mind, each bourbon is different. You know, each one of us has a different flavor profile. Right. And uh, some of our, some of our rating, you know, we take economics into into consideration. So. You know, remember that when you're doing your bourbon hunting and purchasing, you know, if you do tune into the show and you, you kind of take our rating system to heart and, you know, it's a good guideline for sure on, right. on yep. what, what to buy and what maybe to avoid. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's just talk about this uh, rabbit hole high gold right here. Uh, rabbit hole distilling company is in Louisville, Kentucky. And they've got basically a series of four different bourbons. Uh, a Kentucky small batch uh, straight bourbon, the high rye, a full rye, and then the Kentucky straight bourbon that's finished in a sherry cask. So, like I said, we did the Cave Hill last week, which was just their regular uh, weeded small batch uh, Kentucky straight bourbon. This week we're going to do the you high went, rye. You went a four, right? I went a four, you went a three. three. So. Uh, so this week we're on the high gold, and uh, so it's a high rye. It's 25% rye. It's got 70% corn, 25% rye, and 5% uh, malted barley. So it, it's definitely a high. You know, I've seen high ryes come in 14 to 19. And this one's 25, so it's definitely a high rye. I got you. It's 95 proof, just like the one was last week. The uh, so I look for you to shoot this one down. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna like it on the front end and not on the back. Right, end is what right. I what I'm thinking gives you sort of that weeded flavor up front, and then it finishes off yeah. peppery and, and spicy with the rye on the back exactly. end, which is something the, you stay away from. Something I kind of gravitate right. towards. You, my brother, kind of like that that little bit of spice, yeah, a little bit of heat, a little, little spiciness. Pepper. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so this one again, like I mentioned last week, they don't make an age. Uh, they don't announce their age. They say they age it to maturity. So that usually means four to five years. Gotcha. Now this one, the aroma is supposed to be sweet and toasted malt. Toasted malt. I love malt. I like uh, I like my dark beer. Right. I had me a Guinness this weekend. Haven't had a Guinness in a while. Veered away from the bourbon, the bourbon this weekend. I don't get a lot of toast from that. I get a little bit. Do you? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of toast. I'm getting. A, not, I'm getting a sweet, 
sweet flavor. Right, but then if you kind of think of like a, a toasted marshmallow or toasted coconut, mm. I get a little bit of that that scent. I can I can detect a little bit of the heat from that rye. I <laughs> feel like so that's that's going to be fun. Now on the, on your palate, when, when you first taste it, you should get butterscotch and bursts of citrus. Definitely butterscotch. Yeah, butterscotchy. And Citru then it's citrusy, that rye heat. And then it should finish pepper spice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's on the money. That's on the it's, money. It's well described because I do, like I said, I get that little bit of like a, a, like a toasted marshmallow or, or a toasted coconut in the smell. And then you definitely get the butterscotch taste. Yeah, it's viscous, got and a little... I, I got citrus on that second taste right after the butterscotch. Coating my tongue, got a little heat on and all I'm really, sides of my tongue. I'm not really it's a, getting it's a, a lot of the pepper. It's a smooth hug. It's a, yeah, that's a smooth hug. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's a smooth hug for rye. It's not like overly spicy. Now, um, now for a high rye, that's that's got to be one of my favorite high ryes. I like it. I like it. You know, I'm gonna stick with. I definitely get the butterscotch and the citrus. I'm gonna stick with the three. You know, because it doesn't knock my shoes off. Doesn't knock my socks off. Um, there was. A, I didn't get a lot of mul like a multitude of flavors. Right. Yeah. You know, like I said, I'm not really getting the finish, but I, I'm getting mostly a little butterscotch and then. Right into a citrus. Yeah. Yep. I agree. That's what I'm getting. And, and peppery all at the same time because you're getting some heat from that rye. I mean, I'm clearly getting the heat. I, I mean, I, obviously, I still prefer a weeded bourbon. Right. But I see where you, you're saying it doesn't just knock your socks off. It, it's kind of subtle. Right. And uh, so so for the subtle reasons, yeah, I, I'll agree with you on the three. If it, if it popped a little bit more... Now, you, know, should, you, you really, go ahead. Should we maybe put a series of rye bourbons up here and grade them together yeah. Yeah. to be fair? Because, you know, we always lean towards the weeded side. Right, yeah. And yeah, now we can, you know, we can take this. We could take the Old Soul High Rye, which actually, I don't think I have a bottle of High Rye. This is the original. I do. I have a bottle of the Old um, Soul High Rye. You know, maybe get a couple of the High Rise. Yeah, that would be an interesting... And do that and rank, uh, rank them, you know, one, two, yeah, three, four. on the rye side. Because I think that would be more fair comparison for, you know, a rye bourbon um, to be compared against rye bourbons. Mm -hmm. You're always going to you're always gonna land on the side of, of, you know, grading something like a three or a four, what bourbons you prefer, whether right. it's a weeded or a rye bourbon. Yeah. It's good, though. I mean, if you like rye... That is uh, it's smooth, um, you know, like we said. I didn't look. mention it. It's $60, just like the, the other rabbit hole we did yeah. last week. So, you know, if, if if you don't have a problem spending $60 on a bottle of bourbon, the rabbit holes are, are good bourbons. I, I like mean, I, I think 60 bucks is almost... I mean, yeah, like I said, we... I don't even go into the store anymore and figure I'm going to come out unless I'm going for a Cooper's Craft. A Buffalo Trace, maybe a, just a standard Woodford. Well, I mean, Woodford's up to almost forty now. Yeah, I mean, you're you're almost guaranteed fifty bucks or more. Right. Yeah, and you know, like I said, we kind of had our our how we classified them price wise, also where we we said anything on over fifty was what we were calling the expensive. I think we need to move that up to anything over sixty. Yeah, is what we would deem as an expensive because I think. I think the sweet spot right now with bourbons is 40 to 60. It's kind of, if you want a good bourbon, if you're just, you know, you, you don't want to invest, you know, drop a hundred dollar bill, you know, I, mean, I think 40 to 60 is, is about the range you're going to be in. Yep. Yeah, yeah, for real. I mean, we're, we're probably putting off the, the whole, uh, the whole dovetail series just well, you because know, of how expensive well, but also I, 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 series I, I've is. tried one 
that I thought would be my favorite of the series. And I didn't. I wasn't barrel, impressed. It's a barrel. Barrel. Barrel dovetail is the one that I had. One, yeah, exactly. And, the you know, barrel they, series. And I, I thought that would be my favorite out of all of them. So that's the one I tried, and I didn't like it at all. And so I'm like, you know. They, they keep coming. They, they got a, some weird stuff. They, yeah, they, there was one today. But we'll, you know, we'll, we'll eventually get to it. Sure, we I mean, we're going to get to it. And how many more of these do we have? We got two, two more. Yep. Two next more. week, we'll do the full rye. The full rye. The full rye. Next week, it's 95% rye. Yikes. So, I mean, it, it is a full rye. That's like old school bourbon. Yeah. We're going old school Yeah, bourbon. so we'll do that one next week. And then we'll do the sherry cask the following week. And then maybe we'll do some rankings where we, or we might need to do a couple more, like of the high rise, a couple more full rise. Well, I think, we I think we talked about putting the lineup of rabbit hole up there and, and doing a blind test. Yeah, but test. I think they're they're so unique within themselves. I don't know that it'd be, even be worth yeah, it. Yeah, but I could screw that up. <laughs> With the best of them. <laughs> I can screw that one up. So we'll we'll decide. We don't have to decide anything right now. We just need to drink. Let's drink, man. So we gave this rabbit hole a three, which is a good score in our in our books. Yeah, that's, that's so strong. It's that's a, strong. it's a it's a recommended bourbon. Yeah, I mean, I think for three, sixty bucks, yeah, you threes can pick and four. up all of them relatively the same price. Yep, and have your whole collection of rabbit holes. Well, and actually, the one next week is is only fifty bucks. The, the full yeah. ride. Right. It's only 50 bucks. Yeah, so, I mean, they're all right in that price range. I think they're definitely worth adding if, you, if you're if you a collector and you like to have a variety of different collections. I certainly think rabbit holes. Yeah, and, and, I, you know, the bottle, it's a good-looking bottle. Each label's a different color, so right. it looks good on, on your shelves. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Follow, like, and share our content. Um, you'll see it, it'll roll through here at some point. Email us at bourbonbuzzandballinpr at gmail.com. Um, hit us up on all the socials, follow us, um, share our content, of course, and subscribe. You know, hit the subscribe button. You like our content, let it keep flowing. Uh, we'll keep bringing it to you. Um, we're getting better and better with it. We don't give a damn anyway. We're going <laughs> to really? keep bringing it to you anyway. We're going to keep talking to keep drinking. That's it. We do it anyway. We might as well keep on coming. That's right. All right. Well, y'all have a, a good weekend. Cheers. Cheers.